Good morning, friends. I hope all is well with everyone. Y'all have had a, a great week after Easter and enjoyed the, the cool weather we've had down here, uh, at least in Texas. And uh, uh, But especially hope that y'all are out somewhere this morning with those that you love, just praising and worshiping our Lord and our Savior, Jesus. And y'all have to excuse me a little bit this morning because uh, I'm having to read this devotional up real close. I got some double vision going from this silly dizziness thing that I've had going on the last three years. But you know what? I don't think the Lord cares if I'm looking straight at the camera the whole time or if I'm looking off at a piece of paper so I can uh, tell a devotional. I think he can use it however he wants to in whatever way he wants to to touch someone. And that's my prayer this morning, that, that someone will be touched by this devotional that the Lord has given to me. Now, one of the greatest things about being a grandparent or grandparent is when our little ones call on us to come down with them to play or to help them with a little boo-boo. Well, sometimes they just hold up their hands because they want to be comforted or they want, just want to be held. Or they just want to snuggle with us. Oh, that's a good time, isn't it? But Jesus came down from heaven because we needed him to save us from our sins. Then he rose back to heaven, but he still comes down to us when we call on him. Through the Holy Spirit. The Bible tells us to call on God and he will answer us. Psalm twenty-two seventeen says that God reached down from heaven and rescued us. Uh, kids and adults alike need to be taught to pray for Jesus to come and to hold them and to give them his touch. Things may not change right away or even at all, but we will feel his touch and know the sweet comfort of Jesus with his arms around us, holding us tight. And what a sweet feeling that would, that is. Now, the hymn that I have for y'all this morning is He Touched Me. y'all have a really blessed week this week.